Wow, well it is the start of the 2023 season of Quest Boxing League action here at the famous Epsom Downs Racecourse in Surrey. What a fight night is, it's been so far tonight, but coming up on Saturday, March the 4th at the K2 Arena in Crawley in West Sussex, we see the debut of this man, Kelvin Oduru, AKA Pro Boxer, who makes his Quest debut and he jumps straight in at title level, boxing for the vacant regional light cruiserweight title against Jack Thompson. And Pro, we've seen you outside of the competition on a number of different platforms, Wicked and Bad, Smoke Sunday. Um, we've seen you in some terrific bouts, but you make your Quest debut on March the 4th at K2 Arena. And I know you're absolutely buzzing for this one. I'm looking forward to it, man. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this day for a while, man. It's time to take this belt home. It's time <laughs> to take this belt home. No, well. I know the league's fans won't have seen anything of you so far, but you know I've watched you on YouTube. I've watched your fight against Karim, which is a great fight. I've seen some other fantastic performances, but for the league's fans that haven't seen you box, yeah. give us a little bit of an insight. I mean, how would you probably first describe your fighting style and what do you bring to this competition on March 4th? I've been surprised, man, trust me. All I know is I've been boxing for a few years now. Um, Wicked and Bad was the start of my career. Sunday Smoke was just, was just before Wicked and Bad. And now that I'm on Quest, it's time to show everyone what I can bring to the table. I'm going to bring this belt home. Working with Team JW, you know if you work with them, you're going to be as fit as an animal. So I hope he's ready for me, man. I hope mm. he's ready for me. I mean, I've known your, uh, your coach, um, James, for, uh, for a number of years. I mean, he's sort of, uh, he's been around uh, the likes of Alex Bellingham, some other great sort of fighters. Yeah. And like you say, if there's a man to get you in top physical condition, James is the man to do it. But the man standing in front of you is a very, very formidable opponent. You know, he's making his debut as well. He's game, he's strong. Yeah. I mean, this has got all the ingredients to be a fantastic fight. But, you know, outside of Quest, there's some fantastic platforms out there. You know, there's, um, you know, boxing outside of the amateur code and the professional code, you've got some really, really good platforms which are bringing on some great talents. But, you know, for yourself, I know coming into this fight, you want to win that title. You want to sort of be crowned champion on March the 4th. But from the, the footage that you've seen of your opponent, um, try and break it down. I mean, how, what have you seen? How would you describe him as, a, as an opponent? I mean, I've only seen two videos of my opponent. Um, the first one wasn't, a, wasn't really a lot for me to see what you can do but I've seen he's been knocked down to the floor I've never been knocked down to the floor ever in my career of boxing so I can see he can be broken um, I'm gonna break him I don't um, downplay any of my opponents anyone that gets in the ring hats off to them boxing is not a game you can play but I know I'm gonna bring it to the table and take this guy home first time coming on quest and it's for a belt so I'm gonna make sure I take the belt home mm. I know that on the sort of um, on Quest, what it's become famous for is these even 50-50 fights. You know where you know both fighters are coming in with the same desire, the same hunger, the same belief that they're going to walk out of that ring with the uh, with the belt. But for you, you mentioned obviously you've never been knocked down in your career before, and you know that you sort of you're going to be in peak physical condition. But what do you think for you on the 4th of March will edge this contest? What makes you come out of that ring as champion? I mean, everyone knows about Pro Army. When the pro army comes to the arena, my crowd's, my crowd's loud, I'm loud, I'm an engine when I'm in the ring. I just know I'm gonna bring it to the table. Right? I just know I'm gonna bring it. My crowd edges me on. No opponent that I've ever fought has a bigger crowd than me. I make sure I bring the crowd with me and I put on a show. So, I mean, I fought 10 rounds in my last fight. This four rounds is just gonna be like a sparring session to me personally. So I hope he brings it to the table and I hope he's ready, honestly. Mm. Well, there you go. He's bringing it. I know that Jack Thompson, his opponent, he's also bringing it. So when you've got two fighters like that, both hungry and both confident, coming into this showdown on March the 4th, I know it's going to be fireworks. I'm also, I'm also sparring with people like Alex Benham. I know you not know him already. He's solid, he's fast, he's quick. I'm sparring with my friend Beast. Again, he's strong. I know he's not got sparring partners like how I've got sparring partners. So if I can fight them, this is just going to be another... Easy. Not, not, let me not say easy, sorry, but it's going to be a good fight. No fight is easy, so I'm just looking forward to this fight and I hope it's going to be a good one. Well, I'm sure it will be. As I say, we're looking forward to it as well. It's great to have you on the platform. Thank looking you. forward to the fight. And as I say, it is going to be a terrific showdown for the title on Saturday, March the 4th at the K2 Arena in Crawley in West Sussex. This man, Kelvin Oduro, a.k.a. Pro Boxer, will be taking on Jack Thompson. And this is one you do not want to miss.